Welcome to the series called Stadium Tours. We'll be taking trips around the entire state of Michigan to bring you inside looks at these stadiums. And today with our first episode, we're starting with a big one. We are giving you a tour of Comerica Park, home of the Detroit Tigers. For nearly 100 years, the Detroit Tigers played on the corner of Michigan and Trumbull until they made the transition to Comerica Park in 2000. When you arrive to the ballpark, you are reminded that you are at the home of the Tigers. A 15-foot tall and 25-foot long Tiger might give it away. And if that's not enough, there are 31 Tiger heads scattered on the outside of Comerica. The stadium was built with brick to blend in with its surroundings, and they had to use so many bricks that if you laid them down in a straight line, it would measure 76 miles. The stadium first opened on April 11, 2000, and while there have been some changes to the ballpark since that time, we found something that's been here from the start. In left field, there are six statues of some of the best players in Tigers history, with each statue getting up to 17 feet tall and weighing 1,500 pounds each. And each statue also has its own personal characteristic. Among the big names you'll see, Al Kaline. Mr. Tiger won 10 gold gloves and was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1980. And on the other end is Ty Cobb, where there's a crown in the dirt to represent his triple crown. In left field, you have the numbers of the jerseys retired by the Tigers of some of their best players in franchise history. And another great player in their franchise is Miguel Cabrera, who has his total career home runs and career hits being counted every game by season ticket holders. As we keep walking, we find more pieces of Tigers history along the concourse. Placed along the concourse are decade banners where the Tigers take a look back at Detroit baseball history dating back to 1900, including this 1921 Detroit Stars uniform. Plenty of history to take in while watching the game, and there's also some entertainment for the children. On the concourse by the Beer Hall is a 50-foot Ferris wheel with 12 baseballs as cars. It was shipped from Italy, and it is one of its only kind. Then if you keep walking down the concourse, you will hit the Big Cat Court, where right in the center there is a carousel with 30 hand-painted tigers for you and your kids to ride on. And during the game, you can make a trip to the D-Shop where you can get some shirts, some hats, some jerseys, or even a gift for your nine-month-old son. Right by the court is Gate A, where this guy welcomes you into the ballpark. A statue of Ernie Harwell, a longtime broadcaster for the Tigers who passed away in 2010. Fun fact about Ernie, in 1948, he became the only announcer in baseball history to be traded for a player. That sets up a nice transition. Let's head up a floor to the press box, which is also the location of 93 suites.
Welcome to the Ernie Harwell Media Center, dedicated to the announcer on September 22nd, 2002. And if you couldn't attend the game, you're probably watching at home, listening to guys sit here in the broadcast booth, watching the game from a beautiful view of Comerica Park. And then you go to the Champions Club where you can get a look at some of the best pieces of memorabilia in Tigers history, such as World Series trophies, or if you walk over here, you get a chance to look at the most valuable and Cy Young awards of Justin Verlander. We have shown the experiences of the fans and the media. That leaves one group out. Now we're getting ready to take a look at the players experience as we will take a look at the visitors clubhouse where the Detroit Tigers are getting ready to host the Cleveland Guardians. And the Tigers are nice hosts. On top of the clubhouse and lockers, they also have a weight room and batting cages so players can get ready for their upcoming game. And they also feature some video games. During concerts, this is where the performers will get ready as well. And when it's game time, the players and coaches come to their home dugout ready to take the field. And this is a spot where the manager has to make some of his biggest decisions. And check out this beauty. The park features the longest dimension in all of baseball with a 420 foot distance to hit it out of the park in center field. You see where the bullpens are now? They weren't like that in 2000 when the park opened. In 2005, they moved the bullpens to left field, allowing the additional bleacher seats in right field. 
The field is made with Kentucky Bluegrass HDT blend, new in 2014, and mowing takes about three and a half hours total, keeping the grass height at three quarter inches. The infield is made out of clay, silt, and sand from Illinois, which they water each morning. And the warning track is shale from Alabama, and it is raked every day. The Tigers are the only team to feature the key style dirt path from the home plate to the pitching mound. That'll do it for our tour of Comerica Park, but let's leave you with some more random facts at each stop of our tour. The statues in left field feature six Hall of Famers. They were created by the same person who made the statues of Gordie Howe and Michael Jordan. We mentioned the Ferris wheel, but the beer hall features a 70-foot bar and is open during games. The carousel is 36 feet in diameter, while the Big Cat Court, where you find the D shop, is 100 feet in diameter. Ernie Harwell spent 42 years with the Detroit Tigers and is also a member of the Hall of Fame. The Ernie Harwell Media Center can hold up to 100 media members. The ballpark has hosted Tigers games for 22 years and can seat more than 41,000 fans. They have hosted two World Series, one All-Star Game, one NHL Winterfest, and multiple concerts. That'll do it for our tour of Comerica Park. Stay tuned for our next episode of Stadium Tours as I will give you a look at Jackson Field, the home of the Lansing Mudnuts.